This bull elephant is in must. Hello there explorers and welcome to a bugman's life. It's really good to see you guys. Welcome to Kruger National Park. We'll be staying at Mupani camp for four nights and we are entering at Palaborwa gate now. Our first sighting for today is this crested Franklin on our way to Sable Hide. This bushveld lizard is busy transitioning from its juvenile to adult coloration. Sable Hyde is one of my favorite places in Kruger and someday soon I plan on staying here again. It seems to be grooming time for the birds as we see this black stork, African spoonbill and pine kingfisher busy grooming themselves. Sable Hyde also offers some good dragonfly sightings, such as this beautiful violet dropwing and banded groundling. This is Masurini picnic site. On the one side, you've got vast Mupani field that you can see, while on the other side, there's this rocky outcrop where you've got the chance to see lion, leopard, and even some cheetahs. So, this is definitely worth a stop. Around the picnic site, you should be on the lookout for smaller species, such as this large copper dung beetle that I just spotted. It's busy rolling its ball directly through the picnic site, and is a telecopra species, meaning that it will cut away a piece of dung, roll it into a ball, and then roll it away from the pile of dung as quickly as possible to avoid competition. This bull elephant is in must, a period of time where the bull has increased testosterone levels and it's associated with heightened aggression and unpredictable behavior. This can be seen from the wet marks between the eyes and the ears. We just spotted this bull elephant in the river and it's busy digging for some clean water. After a few tries, he manages to get some clean water. We went to check in at Mupani camp and now we're starting our afternoon drive with this warthog that went mud wallowing. The Tsenzi river crossing on the Nchongololo loop is always a good place to go for some sightings if you have limited time. The water flowing over the low level bridge is the ideal hunting place for this striated heron as the fish try to swim over the bridge in the shallow water and then make themselves easy targets. If you continue down the Shongololo loop, there are two hides and both is definitely worth visiting, the Shipandani overnight high and the Pioneer Dam high. It's the start of day two and our first sighting is this large bull elephant walking down the road. Remember, elephants always have the right of way in Kruger National Park. These two young giraffe are busy play fighting with each other. I assume that this is a pair of black-backed jackals. 
Blackback Jackals mate for life and will actively defend their territory. Elephants often use trees as scratching posts, but this is the first time that I see elephants using the same tree simultaneously. The temperature is rising fast and the marabou storks have started taking off, using the thermal updrafts to gain altitude. The gross fact about marabou is that they urinate on their own leg during hot days to cool themselves off. This gives the appearance that they have white legs. Here on the open piece of grassland in the middle of the Mupani field, there are zebras and wildebeest grazing as far as the eye can see. Matabele ants are very busy at this time of the year, foraging for food and moving the colony to new nesting locations. So explorers, it's the morning of day 3 and we came to sit at this dam to see if there's anything that comes to drink some water early in the morning. We are very fortunate to have this brief sighting of a lone side striped jackal. We have been watching this large bull elephant slowly approaching from far to come and have a drink of water in the cement dam. So this is the viewpoint at the Moiblas picnic site and this is definitely worth a coffee stop. So after your morning drive, come and have a stop here at this beautiful viewpoint, have a coffee and enjoy the wildlife that comes to drink water. There's also lots of bird life that you can enjoy while you're sitting at this picnic spot. This bark mantid is not blending in very well with this larval pole, where it is sitting next to a fraying mantid egg case. The crocodiles at the low level crossing on the Shongololulu often try to catch fish that swim upstream through the shallow water. Meanwhile, back at the camp, there's a small visitor that came to see if there are any scraps to scavenge.
there is movement inside this large heap of elephant dung. Turns out, it's a large copper dung beetle that is cutting itself a ball and will now roll it away and go bury it away from other potential competition. So, yesterday morning when we got up, we saw that something turned over our dustbin. And last night, I decided that I'm gonna put the dustbin on the patio so that we can see who's the culprit that's turning over the dustbin. And lo and behold, this morning, we started off our day with one epic sighting. This honey badger is the dustbin turning culprit. It's looking for food scraps it can scavenge from the dustbin. The Cory Bustard is the heaviest flying bird in the world. So we're staying at Mupani camp this week and we decided to do the walking trial around the camp. The trail is clearly marked and there are information boards along the way which explains more about the surroundings, wildlife and plants. The trail goes directly next to the dam, giving you a water level view of all the animals coming to drink on the other side. Keep an eye out on the trail for smaller wildlife species, such as this orange winged drop winged dragonfly. African jacana are so well adapted to walking on lily pads that it does so effortlessly even with the large swell that is caused by the wind. So after completing this trail, I can promise you that it is worth the walk. So if you're staying at Mupani camp, make sure to go on this walk and explore the nature around the camp. It is our last day at Mupani before we head off to the next camp, so we only have time for a short morning drive. And that concludes our stay at Mupani Rest Camp. We're now off to Shinguetsi, but I will show you all of that in the next video. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss that video. And then remember to explore, discover and share. I will see you guys next time.